Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear viewers, today we will start tutorials on Autodesk Advanced Steel 2020. After opening the software, it will ask for country setting and configurations. We will select international. It will have millimeter unit system. UK also you can choose Australia or United States. I will start with international. Click on OK. Now start drawing. First, we will discuss about grid system in advanced steel. Here in the object tab, we will get these grid options in this part. First, we will start with regular grid. For example, we are having regular grid like this one. How we will draw this one? Total width, uh, total length 30 meter, width 24 meter. So let's start. Click on this building grid, then specify first point zero comma zero press enter then second point point will be here if it is here is the zero zero point then this is the first point and here this will be the second point so ordinate will be 30 comma 24 meter in that case as it is millimeter we will type 30 thousand millimeter comma 24 thousand enter so we got this length and width for grids now we will take proper grid spacing and grid number along x direction we will take a b c d grid marking along y direction we will take 1 2 3 4 grid system so in x direction 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 grid we are having so now we can go to top view this is x direction x y direction now along x direction we will click on this grid group along x direction see here 30,000 millimeter now here we will change this marking easing okay then this group index keep it one and number will be seven see now 5 meter spacing is coming automatically as it is divided into 6 segment 6 segment segment segments re requires requires 7 number of grids so 6 into 5 that means 30 meter display type is standard keep it same like this one if you want to consider it as grid group now this one finished along y direction number ok easing here number of grid 1 2 3 4 5 we will put 5 now click ok so this is our regular grid system in advance still if we need to move any grid or we need to change grid spacing for example in x direction we need to move e grid along x axis 1 meter so how we will do it select this one double click then display type make it single axis okay now I can select this one then I can 
move along this direction 1 meter 1000 millimeter like this go for second option this one here create with groups by distance first we can draw line 0 0.0, 0. this direction 24 meter and this direction 30,000 meter now what we can do I'll uh, come to our second figure this is also 30 meter 24 meter but this this is irregular grid system now click on this grid then first here you can see in the screen it is written please define in points of the grid line the first one is start point I will select this one then in point this one now direction of the group direction will be this direction feeds will be placed parallel to x axis and distance will be along y axis so distance is coming 7557 5, 7. so first one is 7000 millimeter press enter then 5000 enter 5000 enter then last one is 7000 that means 7 meter enter then uh, from the mouse press right click okay so we will get this direction 24 meter and this display type is standard okay and we have got our desired irregular distance here it will show the first two distance as it is 7 meter then 2 3 4 it is 5 meter it is grouped into three group then number three group it is seven meter so in this way we can get irregular grid for this one i can make it easing number is okay for x direction we can do first we will start this one to this one then we will go for this direction now we will type the distance 645 6000 enter 45 4000 enter 5000 enter 6000 enter then last one 4 and 5 4000 enter 5000 now press right click using this capital letter ok here you can see the group first this group 6 meter 4 meter C to D 5 meter T to A 6 meter E to F 4 meter and F to Z 5 meter so this is our grid system now we can delete the auxiliary auxiliary lines we have drawn the initial stress now this is our irregular grid now other option here we can draw single grid also like this then we can copy this one like this single grid this one 
we can draw single group along a direction like this from here we have got two direction axis from this option we will get one direction axis from here we can get the from this option we can get curved or circular grid for example here i'll select the grid intersection point this one this one sorry this will be first this to this then we can choose the distance we can change the radius here from here like this we can make it capital letters prefix C as it is circular grid so it will show CA here close if we want to change the radius we can move it like this here we can delete axis using this one click on this and then select any grid line you want to delete then press right click it will delete the grid if we want to add grid then from here we can add please select the grid axis after which the group is to be inserted for example after this D grid I want to add another grid at 2 meter distance select this one then right click number of axis 1 then distance 2 meter enter like this one grid will be inserted here we can trim grid also for example these two grid i want to trim up to here so click on this then select the boundary object this line then right click like this again we can do that one select this one then select boundary object this line right click now select the axis that is to be cut this one this one press right click in this way we can trim the grid now if we want to extend this grid we can extend by using this one select this one now boundary line or object this line then right click now the axis this one and this one right click so in this way we can create grids and modify grids in advanced still stay tuned with decode bd for upcoming important tutorials you will also get some more important tutorials which i have prepared earlier in 2016 you can check this also here in my channel you can check the playlist link i will add in the description you can check that link and you will get the playlist so thanks for watching stay tuned for more press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update